A year ago during this segment of the show, we discussed the trad wife movement. This was at the time a new and growing trend on TikTok and other social media platforms. The trend consists mostly of certain female influencers, the trad wives, documenting their day-to-day lives, taking care of their homes, baking various things from scratch, cleaning, tending to their husbands and children, etc., often while dressed like housewives from a 1950s TV show. And it's the kind of trend that is tailor-made to piss off feminists, and indeed feminists have spent the last year complaining about it. Uh, A social media war has been raging now between the girl bosses on one side and the trad wives on the other. And recently, the girl bosses have launched a new counteroffensive. Suddenly, over the course of just a few weeks, there have been articles and think pieces in several major publications outlining all of the concerning and problematic aspects of the trad wife phenomenon. The New Yorker has a a piece this week that's approximately 500,000 words long, so relatively short by New Yorker standards. Uh, telling the tale of what it calls the rise and fall of the trad wife. And it tells us about a woman who uh, was once deep in the trad wife lifestyle, but has now emerged from that lifestyle to warn against the monster, quote unquote, that she helped create. Meanwhile, an article on Fox News outlines the criticisms that some have launched at the trad wives, calling their way of life a a fetish, calling it creepy, alarming. Um, Time has an article written by a licensed psychologist who agrees that the trad wife trend is alarming, and also argues that it's a form of, quote, false escapism from the drudgeries of, uh, of life. And she says that women who uh, participate in this lifestyle are using it as uh, basically a, a coping mechanism. And over at The Guardian, a feminist named Emma Bennington has her own think piece dismissing trad wives as the product of, quote, a reactionary fantasy. But my favorite anti-trad wife article from this latest batch comes to us courtesy of Vogue and, and a woman named Monica Ainley. Um, now, these, these other feminists merely offered their critiques of trad wives. But Monica took it a step further. To really prove how horrific the trad wife life is, she bravely went deep undercover and confessing that she feels a, quote, gut-flipping repulsion when she sees trad wives on social media, she decided to become a trad wife herself for a week in order to discover the true depths of its horrors from the inside. So in other words, Monica is, is, well, she's just taking, you know, five days off of work and spending some time with her, with her own kids, her two kids. Uh, and if, if, if this does not seem very harrowing to you, uh, keep in mind that Monica did, as she tells us, give her beloved nanny the week off. So she's given the nanny the week off. She's spending five days at home with her kids. Uh, very, very, you know, this is risky stuff forging ahead into this unknown wilderness alone. Very brave. Now, she keeps a daily journal documenting her struggles. Uh, On day one, on Monday, we're told that uh, she tries to do laundry, but her kids keep unfolding the laundry that she folded. On Tuesday, she makes dinner for her husband, but is so exhausted by the routine uh, that she she says that she's uh, not in the mood for intimacy that evening because she's so, you know, making dinner. Very exhausting. On Wednesday, she tries to make a TikTok video, but her kids keep interrupting. And at dinner, uh, three days into this, she says that she feels dead inside. Her world has become tiny. By Thursday, she says that she's uh, drowning her sorrows with Pinot Grigio. And Friday comes, and she's barely alive, limping to the finish line. She closes with this thought, quote, As my week-long experiment officially comes to a close, I feel a rush of relief. Not only that it's over, but also that my husband hasn't become a convert. Maybe I'll amend my first rule of feminism to don't knock it till you tried it. And now that I have, I know one thing for sure. If my daughter one day expresses an interest in the trad wife life, I will steer her in a different direction. Now, uh, to point out the obvious here, Monica did not actually become a trad wife. You can't truly experience that life if you live it for five days and all for the express purpose of writing an article about it. So we haven't discovered anything one way or another about trad wives or stay-at-home moms through Monica's experiment. All we've discovered is that Monica apparently can't stand to be around her own children for five days. Three and a half days into this thing. That's the span of a long weekend, okay? Like if you have a Monday off, that's three days. It's the span of of a Saturday to Monday. Three days into it, she's so flustered by being around her two kids that she has to turn to booze to soothe herself. That's how emotionally taxing it is to simply spend time with her own family for a few days. Again, that reveals nothing about trad wives, but it does reveal a lot about Monica personally and quite a bit about her own lifestyle and ideology. 
She wanted to expose trad wives, but instead she exposed feminism instead, accidentally. I've been extremely clear and outspoken in my stance that abortion is undoubtedly evil and should be illegal in all circumstances. I'm also aware of the indoctrination and pro-abortion propaganda pushed by public schools and all other liberal institutions. You all have heard uh, their lies that a baby in the womb is just a clump of cells or that a woman's reproductive rights include termination of pregnancy if the baby's life is an inconvenience to her. And then there's the quality of life argument that abortion is somehow justified because the mother doesn't have the means to take care of her baby. Now, I don't think these people actually know what they're saying. Our society needs a massive overhaul when it comes to helping young women understand the inherent value of life and the duty and joy of motherhood. That's why an organization like Preborn is so critical. Preborn covers all the bases for soon-to-be mothers, especially ones considering abortion. Preborn uh, meets women with compassion, encouragement, and understanding. They provide women with the tools they need to choose life for their babies. Not only do they introduce women to their children through ultrasound, but they also provide education about pregnancy as well as two years of financial support for women who choose life. They do all this at no cost to the mother. Help make a difference in the fight against abortion by supporting organizations like Preborn. Donate $28, the cost of one ultrasound, and help save a life today. To donate securely, dial pound 250 and say the keyword baby. That's pound 250, say the keyword baby, or go to preborn.com slash Matt. That's preborn.com slash Matt. In fact, there was really never any chance that any of these feminist critics would say or discover anything revelatory about trad wives because they aren't even actually criticizing trad wives. That what they're doing is they're attacking the social media trend, which is different from the thing itself. Because trad wife means, of course, traditional wife. And what does traditional mean? Well, traditional in this context simply means a wife who stays home and raises the children while her, while her husband works. That's, that's what we're talking about. Now, you don't need to dress like a 50s housewife to do that. Uh, you don't need to you know, bake homemade cereal or whatever from scratch, although it's certainly admirable if you want to do that. Most traditional wives, who we used to just call stay-at-home moms, and before that, we used to just call them adult women, um, most traditional wives have never even heard the term trad wife. They've never been on TikTok. They certainly haven't posted any videos there documenting their daily experiences. My own wife stays home to raise six kids. She, she's conservative and traditional, just like me. Um, but she's never referred to herself as a trad wife. And I've certainly never seen her in the kitchen cooking up a TikTok video. Now, the, the trad wife TikTok trend itself may be somewhat new, just like TikTok itself is new. But the thing, right, the, the thing itself at the most basic level is not only not new, but is in fact one of humanity's oldest ideas. Traditional gender roles, quote unquote, as we now call them, were not tested for the first time for a Vogue magazine article last week. They've been tried and tested and found conducive to human happiness and flourishing all over the world for thousands of years. And that's one of the many problems with the feminist critique, uh, their critique of the thing itself, not the TikTok trend. They say that it's alarming and, and dangerous and unworkable and you know, a right-wing ex escapist fantasy. And yet we already know from thousands of years of human history that a life ordered around traditional gender roles works and can bring happiness. We know that a society ordered around those roles, that indeed a world where every society is ordered around those roles works and can bring happiness. We know that. We know it because this is how humanity has always functioned. It's how most of humanity still functions. So anyone saying, well, I don't know, this, this, this whole thing, it, does, it doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? It's worked, it has worked for literally thousands of years. If it doesn't work for us suddenly, then that tells us there's something wrong with us. Okay, if we, if we in our culture, suddenly, as the first culture ever in history, can't find a way to make that arrangement work, then there's a problem with us. We are the problem. Now, feminism, feminism is the new thing. That's the trend. That's the experiment. That's the fantasy. Traditional gender roles, so-called, they, they served humanity well for millennia. Feminism, by comparison, may as well have just been invented last Tuesday. And yet, it's already falling apart on itself. It suggested, it demanded uh, a massive reordering of the way society is fundamentally organized. It promised greater progress and human happiness if, 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 if society did what it wanted. And it has utterly failed to deliver on that promise. It has failed so much that already many women are fleeing back to tradition. 
even if it is a kind of TikTokified version of it. And feminism, for its part, can only stand by shaking its fist, screaming in protest. And there's nothing else for it to do. It is a failed experiment. And everyone knows it. And that is why, not the trad wives, but their critics are today canceled. If you'd like to see what else I have to say, you can access my full show by going to dailywire.com or by going to the Matt Wall Show Twitter page. Hope to see you there. Godspeed.